Out of your Capitol Watch, lawmakers advanced a bill today that proponents say will correct an error in Colorado's property tax system to try and make school funding more fair across the state. Now, if it passes, it could restore budget cuts from last year while generating hundreds of millions in new money for K-12 education. Now, Davison explains how it could impact our tax dollars. On a 6-3 to three vote Wednesday, members of the House Education Committee advanced a bill sponsors hope will make the state's K-12 school finance system equal across districts. It will um, ask the Colorado State Supreme Court to make a determination if the Colorado Department of Education made a mistake back in the 1990s when it started allowing um, or, or forcing um, property taxes down in school districts. Right now, taxpayers in different school districts pay different rates and a good chunk of the state's budget is used to take care of the rest. You can be on one side of one street and pay 27 mills um, into your local education system. You can be on the other side of the street in another school district and pay 15 mills. Democratic lawmakers say the current system sends more money to wealthier districts in the state. There's no rhyme or reason to how these mills were set when we froze them. Um, it, you know, it, we really want to respect the will of the voters. And if we're really respecting what Tabor is supposed to do, we need CDE to fix this problem. Under Colorado's Taxpayers' Bill of Rights, all state increases need a vote to pass. Sponsors of the bill want the State Department of Education to create a correction schedule for districts to reduce the rates. But others say this isn't the right solution. So it doesn't provide equity, it doesn't change the school finance formula. So right now as a state, we actually subsidize Aspen. We send money to Aspen who spends $26,000, $27,000 per student, and yet the state is still subsidizing that rather than giving the money where it's needed. If passed, current tax credits would start being phased out in the 2021 property tax year. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Mayo Davison, News 5.